Oh, 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 hi, oh, everyone. <laughs> oh, how's my intro? Uh, I try to smash it up a bit. Uh, my name is Ordinary, and welcome back to Student Union. So, last episode, our long day has finally over, and we ended up hurt uh, Ivan's feeling real bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ivan. But today, we, we are going to uncover the mystery in the school and do some investigation with Evan hopefully uh, also you can still support this game in the, in the Kickstarter there's still a uh, 4 days left when I'm recording right now but I don't know if I can finish the video on time and upload it before the Kickstarter offer but you can still try the demo if you want and experience it by yourself so without further ado, let's continue our journey. So last time we ended up in this beautiful toilet as you can see. My still bruised face looks back at me in the mirror. The swelling hasn't gone down much and I expect I'll be carrying this proof of the fit for a few more days. Well, it's not uh, that bad, you know. I like character with Bruce, not gonna lie. <laughs> it sounds weird, but yeah, I, I kinda like it. Ivan ha has been out the entire day, and he also hasn't texted me. That's fine though. No, that's not. Do, don't you remember what did you do last, uh, last night, Lane? For recruitment, I've narrowed down to two decent candidates. I could ask Ross. She may be willing to be a member in name only. She wouldn't have to do anything. And I, I and I offer to do her own homework as much as she likes. Uh I kinda disagree if Ross uh wouldn't have to do anything because she will get paid by Mr. Underwood. So, at least Ross must uh, do some work. <laughs> then again, that could be pretty burdensome for me. Yeah, kinda. The other option is Nat. She's stubborn, but she's gonna be lonely. She may be open to it if I push more. That's kind of good candidate, but uh, she said she she want uh she is going to back go back to Russia, right? <laughs> I step up of the restroom and stroll to the school library through the hem empty hall. I like to say that I'm not entirely sure why I'm doing this without Ivan, but I know why. Oh, so you still gonna go investigate? Don't you want to check F1 first? Oh, it's getting spooky. If I'm honest, it's because I'm worried he could be right. Oh, the library door hangs open in front of me. If I recall, it's normally kept closed and locked actually. Why would you lock the public library in school? Isn't it supposed... Uh, the reason is for students to read freely, I guess? I may be invading Mr. Underwood's privacy, so I steal myself for what I could find. Gotta hide in those card boxes. Tactical espionage time. <laughs> I'm just locking a casual look in the library and skipping class to do it i look back and wonder if i sh i should just leave now nah, you you already this far let's just go oh it's kind of spooky i go in immediately i see natasha bent over on her hands and knees with her hand under a, a table that 
She hits her head on the table as she stands. <laughs> oh, cute. Ow. You. <laughs> Kisama. <laughs> yes, me. What are you doing? Her, uh, her relaxed eyes scan me from head to toe. What are you doing? Don't answer a question with another question. Nat. I rub my sore eye. Look, I know turnabout is fair play, but it's rude to answer a question with a question. <laughs> oh. Let's know my answer. Okay, uh, it, may, it maybe sounds like I have read this scene before. No, I haven't read. Uh, this far so let's just read my mind or maybe the, the devs uh, constantly live updating my game through <laughs> while st stream sniping me <laughs> right now oh, I'm so sorry Let let's move on she's watching me patiently it's almost unnerving how still she can be Fine. I came in here to look for a book for Mr. Underwood. A lie. Oh, she knows. Why do you say that? Your body is Hannes. Are you suspicious again? Her poker face is unwavering. Uh, I'm not making trouble. I said I will do it again, didn't I? I want you that I will expose you to the teacher if you allow poor decision twice. Well, it depends on what are you doing in the library alone. We can make a deal. Fine. And you? What class are you supposed to be in right now? Gym, and I will attend soon. And why wouldn't you right now? So we are both getting naughty, huh? That sounds wrong. <laughs> oh, she's blushing. <laughs> she steps closer. This provocative language pleasure you? It depends. <laughs> On what kind of provocative language? Uh, what's under the table anyway? Nothing now. I took back a personal item. Oh, you dropped something? Len? Uh, what? Uh, I mean, uh, a nanny? <laughs> Nani, <laughs> I'm sorry. You need rest. Please stop humoring your suspicion. Nah, this is more important. This is for Evan. This is to prove Evan is right and Len is wrong. This is very important, you know. You would understand. It's not mine, it's Evan's. <laughs> Oh, let's always uh, reading my mind. He wanted me to take a look in here. Four. He thought Mr. Underwood and Principal Decker were arg arguing in here. Her eyes leaves me as she adjusts her hair. Ooh. Triple dot. So we will look together, okay? Then we will both go to class. Oh, you you also interest, Natasha? Or I suppose we have same goal. Oh, cute hand holding. She takes my hand and leads me deeper inside. I do not object and mutter a reply. 
that works. We can make it quick. <laughs> Again, that sounds wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, I. Uh, no, uh, look at those si shiny apps. That's really good. <laughs> I want to tap on her abs. It's must be really, uh, really solid, really tough. As we walk between bookshelves, I realize I'm distracted by the physical contact. Oh, <laughs> she has the other hand holding. That's too loud. Her hand grips me shaker, uh, shakerly. It's not as soft as I expected. Her palms are mightily... Kalus. Is that how you say it? You don't need to hold my hand. I'll follow you. <laughs> I pull away from her, triggering a small ripple, ripple of disappointment within myself. Oh, he enjoyed it. Ah. Oh, okay. You shouldn't do it anyway, yeah? Uh, it's not romance. It's like leading a child. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh, let's say she has a brother, so it's it's probably her little brother, I guess. So she has like only son energy. <laughs> uh. I'm wounded, not helpless. What are we looking for? She smiles. You're missing marbles. What? Oh, I think I didn't get it. Very funny. I feel much better today. What about you? S she continues marching through the library, and I follow. I am okay. You're lonely. <laughs> Why would you say that? She locks eyes with me for only an instant. Maybe some homesickness. My boyfriend, my boyfriend calls every day, though. Oh. Sounds like a healthy relationship. Depends on which, uh, why he calls her every day. She doesn't look happy. Do you have those? No, not yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> Wanna working on? <laughs> Wanna working on it with me, Natasha? <laughs> I'm so sorry. She steps onto the stool and holds her face close to a, a row of books. What are you doing? Do you smell it? I sniff and close my eyes. No. What, did you just fart or something? <laughs> She hops down and resumes her patrol. What do you smell? Please, uh, I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> it's not her fart, right? Uh, nothing. Uh, I was wrong. Are you happy yet? Uh, no. But I'm working on that too. <laughs> I mean, with the search. Oh, <laughs> my face sheds red. Oh, I think so. Oh, Len is blushing, cute. Are you happy? I am also working for it. For the room, I am satisfied. We will not find evidence here. 
Yeah, I don't think Mr. Android and Principal Decker is here now. Yeah, I'll agree there's nothing to see. Thanks for humoring me. You find me funny? Kinda. No, I mean thank you for your help. <laughs> Without a perceptible response, she leads me to the entrance. Before we leave, will you please give me your phone number? Oh, smooth move, Len. Uh, I said it sarcastically. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nat leaves her phone without hesitation. Was she going to suggest it too? Okay. Oh, that was easy. Oh, Len, please stop reading my mind. I beg you. <laughs> I add her to my contacts. Text me when you feel suspicious. I will help you from getting it in trouble. Oh, thanks only son. Well, I can't promise to do it every time. She stares me down with her poker face. Uh, I'll try. You owe me three now. Is it is it right? <laughs> oh, I bet, I bet the water bottle will be the last. Oh, he will repay <laughs> in the last story. He will come in full of bruises, um, half bleeding, jumping from the window. This is for the water bottle, <laughs> Lance said. <laughs> <laughs> huh, since you never gave me a strike answer, we'll call it two. Uh, time for the class. I take a seat at the table she was previously underneath. I'm going to catch up on one mistake first. You go ahead. She frowns. Oh, she didn't trust me. Oh, come on. I'll go soon. We'll call it three, after all. The number will mean nothing if it forever grows. I mean... <laughs> fair enough. With an exhale, she moves to the door. I will return if you do not tell me that you leave soon. I wave her off. Jane. <laughs> That's fine. I'll be uh, I'll just be a minute. The music's gone. Again. She leaves and I review Miss Message from Miss Webb. Oh, Miss Webb. Oh yeah, she wants me to not to go to school school today, but I uh I still going anyway. How are you doing? Do you need a lift? I'll be around if you do. Oh, thanks, my Uber driver. <laughs> go car, I guess. She considered. I'm not sure, but I'll let you know soon. We'll leave you if you are not ready by 6. Oh, I guess with Ross. Huh, that's fair. I pull back from the table and move around the room. There are many books here, and dust layers at the spines. The shelf are equally dirty, which adds to the feeling that this whole area was abandoned. Let's find Lusty Argonian, man. Th that's how determine uh, if this if the library is good or not. If there's Lusty Argonian made in it, that means it's a uh, it it's the good library. <laughs> it's a good library. 
if not that means you need to get uh you need to buy it as soon as possible my tongue pressed to the roof of my mouth there's that metallic test again oh why are you always test blood in your mouth it's fine but it's just like before i can't tell if it's me or this nasty building A knock from door. the door Natasha left open earlier. Is she trying to pull me back to class already? No, it, it's not her. I move closer. Turner? Principal Decker! Principal Decker sees me, and we both flinch in surprise. Oh, you don't hide fast enough. Len? Uh, what are you doing? Um, I... Damn it! What's my excuse? Come on! Uh... Roll persuasion! Uh, I was checking out a book and cleaning. Uh, sorry! Uh, hold on, please! What? Uh, I don't know why I apologize. Sorry, <laughs> I can relate 100%. <laughs> uh, that's our like. We were both. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize again. We were both a bit startled. Why are you here? I often patrol the school grounds. Do you have permission to be here right now? I offered my eyes. Uh, no ma'am, I just thought... I talked to you about this just this morning, didn't I? Oh no... She steps closer... Oh, did I fail the persuasion check? Is it persuasion? I don't know... You should not let your project with Mr. Underwood interfere with your studies... Uh, sorry, I just... Please tell me how the library was unlocked. How did you get in? How Natasha get in? I... A key is needed to lock or unlock this door. Shit! If, this, if that's true, I'm cuffed. I am sorry. Let me help you, alright? Please tell me the truth. Oh. Principal Decker is kinda scary when she is angry. I stare at my shoes. Her fingertips raise my head as she looks me in the eye. Please? You can tell me. I blush and step back. Oh. You want to tell her that, not the part when Natasha just come in before you. Okay. I saw you and Mr. Underwood in here. Her eyes widened. I was worried and didn't know what to do, so... Her expression is gravely serious, and it's causing me to fumble my composure. It's just that I wanted to make sure you were okay. There was a lot of tension. She's blushing. What? Oh, what are you going? Uh, what are you doing? She flushes and begins to pass. I'm glad she also needs to think, because I have no idea how to explain the door. Did you hear what we said? Oh... Is she flirting? I don't know. <laughs> I shake my head. No? Does anyone else know? Oh... 
Am I in on her hit list now? <laughs> I know better that to complicate this. I shouldn't say the door was unlocked earlier either. Oh, so that's why. No. I wanted to learn more first. Good. Okay. Triple dot. Listen, Len. We need to keep this between the two of us. Why? Hmm. Sure. Sit. Steps closer again, this time glaring into me. No, I'm really serious. You can't say anything to anyone. Promise it, me. Swear it. I'm only swear to Aqua Sam, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Unless if you want me to swear to Aqua Sam. Oh, okay, I didn't even really see anything. What were you fighting for about? Grown up things. What kind of grown up things you uh, you're talking about? <laughs> uh, no offense, but I'm basically an adult, you know. How do I know you are not being hurt? Oh, smooth move, Lane. That's a good way to say it. She steps back. Her face showing complex bursts of emotion. I guess I can't expect you to trust me if I don't trust you. Trust in Kamina who trusts in you. <laughs> Again. I agree with her, but simply stare at her. My heart races. She's so sincere. Okay, I'll just say it. Oh, so we success the role. Her voice lowers. So that relationship, huh? I mean that adult stuff. Huh? I'm in a relationship with Mr. Underwood. A wave of relief crashed over me. Okay, I gotta say it now. I don't believe her. She's lying. I have a feeling that she's lying now. I don't know why, but uh, even though these sprites, she looks uh, sincere, I guess. But I don't believe her. She's hiding something. I'm sure. It's just to cough me off guard, you know, because to, to just say, oh, I have a relationship. And then, uh, actually, it's to hide the actual discussion they have. Because, Len, uh, it's not, uh, it's not even there when, uh, when they talk. It's events. So, Len would be so, uh, if Len, could hear a small bit of the conversation I'm sure he will not buy that he will not buy it or he will recognize something weird that's just my uh, my theory for now hopefully I can know better because you know what principal decker road is unlocked baby <laughs> so uh, sure we will know better Oh, why is that bad? She blushes furiously and maintain, uh, maintains a whisper. Oh, that sounds spicy. If that's a lie, that's really spicy. But if if that's not, that's mess up, Principal Decker. I married to another man. Oh, I, I am. I really don't know what to say. But she is really blushing. You don't have to say anything. In fact, 
you can't say anything. This has to be a secret. Do you understand? And why are you discussing it in the library? I still don't buy it. I know it sounds uh like it's not it sounds true, but I still don't buy it. Her eyes split with me. I swallow. Uh, yes, I promise I won't tell anyone, Miss Decker. Her chest swells with a heavy breath. Okay. It's uh, really not my business. You still need to tell me more about what you're been doing. To get in and out there, uh, out here, I mean. Why don't we move to my office and finish this? Oh no! <laughs> uh, I can't. Not now. I know it's important, but uh, and I promise you that I'm not getting up to trouble. What? Why can't we talk now? Oh, Lance sounds more suspicious now. I have to convince another student to join our group before tomorrow morning. Oh, is that close? She really doesn't like the, that answer. Principal Decker glares at her watch. Listen, please. This conversation is not over. You still owe me answers. I will promise not to tell anyone either, but will you meet me in my office later? I mean, yeah, uh, Len is in bad situation now. I need to understand for myself what you are doing and why you are doing it. She must feel like she needs control. She really doesn't want to risk me telling anyone about what Ivan saw. The balance of power in this conversation, conversation levels up. It almost feels like I'm blackmailing her for a time. I understand. Can I go to your office tomorrow after school? Tomorrow? Oh, she, did, she didn't like that. She closed her eyes to gather composure. Okay. Tomorrow after school, and after you and your friends have finished your cleaning work, I'll be in my office. Thank you. I really appreciate it. With a slow start, I move past her. She stopped my shoulder with a soft touch. Please, don't even hint it to anyone, not even Mr. Underwood. Okay, uh, I will try to trust you, Miss, uh, Miss Decker, but I have benefit of the doubt. I'm sure you're hiding something in this school. I'm sure. And I'm going to uncover it. <laughs> Do I sound like detective now? I love mysteries. Yakusoku. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I walk the hell out of there, placing a hand over my chest as I enter the hall. Fast walk in the corridor, I quickly leave my phone. Natasha needs to be assured. Don't go back. I'm heading to class now. That will sound really suspicious. You shouldn't say, uh, don't go back to Natasha. Just say, you are already uh, out now. You know, it will make Natasha more suspicious. Oh, the days already over. 
It's almost the end of the school day, and I just finished cleaning the fake blood stains from my locker. Oh yeah, that fake blood. Also the one underneath your locker because the bl uh, the fake blood spills into the holes. It was easier than the real deal. My phone alerts me to a group message from Mr. Underwood. Represents are me, Alice, and Holly. Something has come up. The cleaning today is postponed. What? I ask that you all take on a double shift tomorrow instead. Okay. <laughs> oh, Alice with her, her boot leaking answer. Thank you, sir. Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I forget my phone. The timing worries me a little, but I'll address it later. Now that I have time, I need to choose. Rosalind is surely hanging around the school somewhere, and I could probably catch Natasha before she leaves from, for the day if I hurry. Oh... Okay, this is sounds important, so as usual, I'm gonna save. BRB. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm back with some consideration. I guess I'll go with Natasha because, you know what? I kinda like her. She looks strong and cute. And those apps, man. It's too beautiful. <laughs> So, uh, and Rosaline, uh, I don't know. She's not my type. Maybe some people will like her, but I don't uh, really like her. That doesn't mean she's bad. It's just my preference, you know? So, let's go with Natasha. She's dexterous, capable, and maybe I can get through to her. It's troublesome to swim against the current of student living, but I maneuvered through the crowd. Oh! Oh, look at those shoulders, man! That's so beautiful! <laughs> Start doing your workout, folks. You will make it. You will get this beautiful perfect body I guess <laughs> yeah I, I also work up fortunately Nat stands on the edge of the crowd with her phone in hand she looks invested oh it's her boyfriend feeling playful I text her I'm feeling suspicious again <laughs> wait I'm coming where are you Thanks, Onesan. Onesan, pick me up. I'm scared. <laughs> I hope uh, he will do that later. Natasha lowers her phone, jogs forward a few steps, and then slows to a halt as she sees me. <laughs> I wink at her, and she blushes deeply. Wink. <laughs> Is it a joke? Uh, I couldn't resist. Sorry. <laughs> Triple dot. Why were you so ready to help? I hope you don't think I'm just that helpless. Oh. Unless I will help this helpless <laughs> little brother. <laughs> yeah. She has th that unless an energy. You know, the only sun aura around her. So, I will complain, I guess. <laughs> she begins to leave. Oh, wait, please. I want to talk to you. The bus will leave. 
I'll make it quick. Join the student or organization with me. I said no before. Oh yeah. Please consider. It's a huge, huge help for uh, to us. Who is us? It's me, Alice, Holly, and Evan. You know Evan, right? I know all. Why do you need another? The school, uh, the school board won't allow it unless we have five members. I am. She watch me with patience. Uh, oh, thank you, I'm begging you, please help. Help this helpless uh, Ototo. <laughs> Why is it important? I think for a moment, but decide to be honest. I need money. And then she she just give you her credit card. <laughs> that will be cool. That will be epic. Uh, why? I'm not comfortable telling you. With a small smile, Nat moves to a rack of basketballs and lifts one. You need help, but I need to avoid involvement. Do you want to play for it? Oh, a challenge? Are you challenging me? Why do you think you have to avoid us? It's not an issue if you move back to mid-year. We just need you now. That's a good point, Len. I didn't think about that. I'm not comfortable telling. <laughs> oh. Play? I snatch the ball from her grip, which she allows. Fine. But we'll play a horse. Do you know how it works? I don't actually. Would you kindly to tell me? Thank you, Ned, for uh, also not knowing it. So Len can explain it to you instead for to the reader. In, uh, <laughs> for the reader. No. What is horse? We take turns. When it's my turn, I make a shot first while you watch. If I make it, you have to make it from the same area I did. Ah, yeah, that that's easy to understand. And if you will miss, then it's your turn to choose where to make it. And I'll have to make it the same way. And if we miss a shot, the boat mate, the other gets a point. I see. Ah. Okay. First to five points wins. Got it? I understand. This seems fair enough since I'm not awful. And I know she's not perfect. I saw her play the other day. To keep it simple, I move to the free throw line and align my shot. This one is basic, and I have to, uh, a good chance to make it. The gym has emptied now, which helped me concentrate. Bouncing sound. I throw the ball with a good form, and it goes through the hoop. Nice shot, Len. Ned collects the ball after I make it. Ah, so I duplicate. I step back and point at the free throw line. Yep, right here. Ned jogs up to the designated spot, turns without losing momentum, and jumps backwards while throwing the ball. A clean fadeaway shot, more difficult than my standing still throw, but still compiled with the rules, since we took it from the same place I was standing. I see. Triple down. I grit my teeth, 
and she tossed me the basketball. I stepped back further from the basket, breathe deeply, use your hormone, and miss the ball rebounding into Nat's hands from the rim. Psst. It's your turn now. You can throw it from whenever you want. Oh, <laughs> she'll gonna make some super epic slam dunk with triple backflip and uh, one alley oop. I guess. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. Oh, she's gonna shoot it from her how house, and somehow the the balls gonna uh, bouncing until to the uh, to the ring <laughs> to the basket. Is that how you call it? Yeah, but if you miss, then it's my turn again. With a tiny grin, she walks into the stands. Shots from that far is Aki asking to waste your turn. You could lock out and make it, and then your opponent won't, but that's hardly a feasible strategy. Damn! Really? <laughs> that's really good shot! Nice hand. She made it. What the hell? Do you practice streak shots? Nat takes one step back and gesture to the ground. Here. Oh, reluctantly. That's how. Uh, I'm sorry. I cannot say that word. I attempt from the same spot and miss by a wide margin. One point to her. Oh, she's mocking you, Lane. What will you do? Next, she makes it to from the half court point. Ah, so far from the goal, I miss. Two points to her. How, how will you come back to this? Then she takes four steps back from half court and makes it from further. I miss. Damn, that's uh. Sperlen son <laughs> Some slack He's almost died He's almost dead <laughs> 3 points to her Then She makes it while she is underneath the opposite goal post Nearly full court I'm speechless Oh no Ned He's already dead Spare him She's amazing but she wasn't like this the other day. What's going on? She pressed the ball against my chest, and I reflectively. Ah, uh, sorry. Reflexively, I guess. Hug it. Can't you match it? I sigh. Of course I can't. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I feel the stress. How could you win that? But I try in vain. The ball doesn't even reach the goal, falling short despite my desperate one arm sling. I'm just not strong enough to get in there. Oh, you need to work up more, do more push ups. That's a four. Yeah. One more, and you win. She apprises me and walks to the three-point line. Farther than three uh, free throw line, but closer than half court. It's easier than her last shot. Why? At this point, I'm not surprised she makes it. I'm focused on the fact that I have a chance. Oh, are you going easy on me because you feel bad for your little brother? <laughs> Maybe. I step to her spot, close my eyes, and breathe. I believe in you, Len. You can do this. 
in and out. Okay. I open my eyes, focus, and make the throw. And it goes in. Nice. Ha. Huh. It is good. Now your turn again. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Attack the ball. Walk right underneath the basket and likely throw it. In. Very low extortion. Required. It is the easiest possible po position, as close as possible. That looks very confused, and I step back and point to where I stood. Right here. Oh! I see! Th so that's your plan, Len? Maybe, uh... He will try the shortest spot be to, uh... Because... Maybe that hand is so strong, uh, and it will possibly be easier to miss with uh, sh shorter land. I don't know. I just blabbering. Okay. She effortlessly makes it in. I was wrong then. I did the same thing immediately, making an extremely simple shot. Oh. This is a battle of wits. Oh wait, yeah, I realized that. Ah, uh, yeah, I realized. Uh, if the if the shot keeps uh getting in, the 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 uh the play will never ends, and she will miss the bus. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> that's actually smart. That's new. Why do it? Your turn. Shoot. Oh, that's really smart, Len! <laughs> Playing against time. She makes it again. So the way she, she won't let uh, for the bus is uh, she, she must purposely lose. I choose the same spot again and also make it. Oh, she know. She knows. <laughs> oh, that's really smart. I love the conclusion. To solve the, the puzzle, if you can beat it, uh, by the by some time until they surrender. That's actually smart. I love it. I smell and place the ball in her hands. We take turns making it again and again and again and again and again. We do this for well over 15 minutes. As I watch her throw it through the basket another time, I adjust my head bandage. Are you getting tired? I am not. I am. My arms are starting to feel heavy. Oh. Me either. Oh, <laughs> acting tough. I love it. We continue trading a simple shot. Over and over and over. Damn! I mean, uh, Natasha is amazing, but let's us all good. You know, because he, uh, he can do the simple shot over and over. Because miss once and he will lose. He only has uh, had one one shot, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, Le I knew it. That's the plan. <laughs> You've missed the bus by now. It is okay. Oh, but Nets won't give up. I love her. Uh, I love her wits. She toss it up again and succeeds. How will you go get home? I toss it up again and succeed. Walk. Oh. Damn, I love her determination as well. This is so heart pumping for me. 
makes me super doki doki and excited. <laughs> Sito sit up again and succeeds. Me too. We continue in silence. Both of us are determined not to make a mistake. I lose track of time. Dozens of minutes pass. A whole hour passes. Then, glancing at my phone, I confirm it's been nearly two hours since we started. My forearms are killing me. Damn! They are really amazing! <laughs> You must be sore by now. No. Faster. She increased her pace and I struggled to match her. With less time lost between each throw, we continue. Oh, you lost focus, Len. At the third hour, I'm not able to match her speed anymore. It's late. My arm edge. I'm slower, but I keep making my rough toss up. She noticed my exhaustion, but does not slow down. She's a machine. I mean, like, look at those body, man. It's just a killing machine. Will you quit now? Ah. Uh. <sighs> you should rest now. Oh, she's getting worried. Huh. Another triple dot. And another one. I wipe sweat from my forehead. It's making my bandage slide around and itch. But I don't have time. I don't have spare concentration to scratch it. Oh, she's getting worried. So this is your last chance. Using your uh, helpless, I guess helplessness, to make her worried and give up. Oh, it's it's the it's a mess of wits. I really love it. <laughs> Slowly, I make another shot. Len. Another silence. Hey! You lot need to get out of here! Legs out! We are closing! <laughs> Natasha and I look at each other. She placed the ball back on its rack and we walk out together. Oh, thank you, Coach Jin. Triple done. Wait. How about the uh, the meeting with Mr. Underwood then? The sun has set, and we stand beside each other in a cool evening air. Len? Do you want to keep going in the morning? Oh, Len saw the termination. No, you have won. Yes! Nice move. What are you talking about? Not losing is a form of winning. You did not lose. More than me. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'll take it. Then, will you please meet me at Mr. Andrew's office tomorrow morning? Uh, yes. Good night. Oh yeah, Sumi. <laughs> I watch her stroll away, stick my hands in my pockets, and walk the opposite way. Oh wait, so are we not meeting with Mr. Underwood? Oh. Oh well, but that's a really good match. I really love it. Well, uh, we'll see what happened then, but that's really a good conclusion. I really love it, you know.
It's like unstoppable force versus immovable objects. Who is win? Well, uh, the one who is never give up at the end, I guess. I still haven't heard about Evan, despite today do being the day. Time to see this through. Alice and Holly are waiting outside Mr. Underwood's office. So uh, are we meet supposed to meeting Mr. Underwood today? I don't know. So sorry if I I'm not paying attention. Holly pushes off the wall and skips forward without her he ear. Cute. Oh hi yo. <laughs> oh hi yo. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Genki. <laughs> I cannot hold myself. Hey, did you find another? Her smile continues through a worried expression. Oh, you didn't? I look behind Holly at Alice. What's with that smirk? What's the scoop? There's no scoop. No one wanted to show it. Oh, so I win! So you are going to weave them an expert story to bend them to your will. Sea motors. I was surprised. You shot yourself in the foot. Even after our talk. Even after our talk. I get, I mean. What is she talking about? Let place her hand in on my shoulder. We wait here. Alice narrow her eyes. He 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 he. Oh, and Holly's happy. With glee, Holly hugs Ned around the waist. Their hate difference is comical. Oh, <laughs> cute. Netty. Oh. Adorable. Ned pets Holly. Hello again. You recruited the foreign girl? Does she understand what we're doing? Alice, that's rude. You know, I almost died yesterday. Again. Come on, she. Nat tenderly pushed Holly aside and approached Alice. As usual, Nat needs to look down. She ex extend a handshake. <laughs> oh, I really love the, the attention of detail, you know, by because uh, Nat is tall and Alice is short. The, the eyes looks uh, Nat, Nat looks down at Alice and vice versa. That's really nice attention of detail. I really like it. It helps me visualize the scenario better. Appressing that slowly, Alice decides if she's worthy. Alice grabs Nat's hands, shakes it, shakes it briefly, and they both smile. Oh, yay! <laughs> oh. Hello, sir. Mr. Underwood approach, so we make room for his advance. Oh, hi, you guys. Morning, sir. He unlocks the door with one hand. His other holding a coffee. It's steaming, and the way he is holding, it seems painful. He's on face. Maybe he's a zombie. He has a relaxed coffee. Come on in. Oh, what happened to Evan? Hopefully, he won't kill himself after that. Please, don't go with that. Uh, with that road. We fall into his office. Mister Underwood stands behind his desk and glances at. Each of us, in turn. 
I'm sorry, we don't have enough. Is that minimum still necessary? Do you not know? Kane! Kane informed me last night that you will have enough. Kane? With italic? By looking around, I try to collect answers from others, but they are equally surprised. Oh! Kane's uh, using a draw for card by surprise. Knock knock! Oh, wait, Kane with Evan. Kane stands in the doorway with Evan behind him. If that is everyone, please close the door. We will make this relatively quick. They move into the room and Evan close the door. I glare at him, but he avoids my eyes. However, Ken acknowledged me directly. Your buddy told me what's up. He vaguely nods at Ivan. He said you needed another buddy, so here I am. Oh, what is your uh, what's your plan, uh, Ivan? I see. Thanks for coming through for us. My comment was directed at the air between Kane and Ivan. I'm hiding my fury with firmly gritted teeth. Come on, man. I mean, it's just misunderstanding and... Ivan sounds already move on, or not, I don't know. I can't believe Ivan would go behind my back like that. Oh, really, Len? Really? You think that? After what you did with Evan? Evan try to be, uh, to choose his own decision. Why would you appreciate it? I mean, come on. How could you, uh, what could go wrong? Do you have a problem, Len? Oh, Mr. Adro, that, uh, it, does it look abuse? Um, no. I'm just very surprised. I think it'll be good. My ends, my eyes flick to Kane, who smiles. To be bury the hatchet. What's this for the, supposed to mean, Lane? Agreed. Making peace is important. Yeah. See. I mean, uh, Ken is very, uh, violent, but I'm st I still like Ken. He looks like Hannah's person. You know, I said that before, but he still, uh, right now he still look Hannah's. So I trust him. At least not slowly while reviewing Ken cautiously. Oh, at least, uh, he's not happy. It's not like she can turn him away now that he is already here. I think this is fine too. Uh, um, I know. <laughs> if there are any Hannah's reservation, speak now. There are clearly a reservation, but no one wants to air them out in here. All right. The board agreed to let you all from a, an organization independent of the school to be contracted on the, a trial basis. Holly has something in mind but she doesn't want to talk about it. You all will work directly for the president of the student union, earning a hourly rate equivalent to the current minimum wage. Roll credits by the way. He rests his coffee on his desk. You will report directly to the president, and the president will re report directly to me. 
the president will be elected by vote no less regular, regularly than annually. Any questions? Will you clarify what you mean by an independent urgent organization? Yes, the school will not employ students, rather, we will compensate your organizations. He rolls his eyes. In no connection with the school and at my independent discretion, I will email you details and provide guidance for your documentations. Please complete my instructions over the weekend. And do not hesitate to reach out my uh, with questions. Oh, are we going to uh, follow the instruction like doing some dirty works, transferring some drugs? <laughs> As I see, that's uh, some important people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is the president decided by majority vote? Said Ivan. That is how I advise you handle it. A majority vote of the then current members. I'll vote for Alice. Your enthusiasm is appreciated. But first, we will review the specific work the school will contract to you. Damn. Very bored, <laughs> Kane. Mr. Underwood goes into a spile about our various expected tasks, including but not limited to staffing the library, cleaning the school, organizing events, providing administrative assistance to faculty, tutoring students, and organizing ourselves. So basically everything to make this school work. He highlights the importance of clear documentation, communication, and accountability. Several times over, to the point we are sick of hearing it, so it must be really important. Holy falls asleep, <laughs> oh. but Alice dutifully kicks her, which causes her to snap awake. Ken leans on his face, waiting for the briefing to warm up. Ivan stares at his feet. I can tell what he's thinking. Natasha watches Mr. Underwood closely, keeping attention impeccably. Damn, only Natasha who uh, paid attention. And I'm listening while gauging everyone's reaction. After about 30 minutes of fielding our questions and detailing the mechanics of the group, Mr. Underwood turns up the last of his coffee. With that out of the way, we should designate the president. Even cough. Len would be the best fit, I think. Don't you say that? That doesn't sound uh, sincere. Oh, look at that! E look at even move. It's cute. Please give me even's even's road. I will definitely play it. Please, if you watch this devs, please give me even's road. <laughs> please. I'm still for Alice. And Holly and I are in agreement that I'll be the president, right? She smiles at Holly, who tosses me a worried expression and hesitates. While that's the uh, agreement, I smile at her to reassure her decision. Uh, yes. Nat runs her finger through her hair. I will vote for Len. So it's even. I'm voting for myself too. 
so that makes us at three, uh, at a three to three tie, unless someone want to change their original vote. We look at Mr. Underwood expectantly. In the event of an even split, I see no reason why you would be unable to manage the two co-presidents. Oh, that's fair. It's the majority vote. Could you handle it? Alice and I look at each other. Neither of us want wants to uh, wants that outcome well yeah I guess <laughs> perhaps we play rock paper scissors no that that sounds childish man at least doing one match of League of Legends <laughs> one v one oh <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Let's keep reading my mind. That's kinda childish. Why don't we postpone the vote over the weekend? And that's not childish. Mr. Underwood leans against his desk and looks up uh, at the ceiling. We both feel pressured by his impatience. Oh, ju we just small intimidation. No, it's fine. We can share it. Either break into subgroups to manage more students or take turns leading. I like those ideas. Having two heads works fine if one of us is out the other can take the reins. I don't know. I don't really like Alice uh, leading because, you know, she, uh, back then she had responsibility to clean the gym but instead she just making bombs at school she doesn't sound uh, looks responsible person I'm sure she wants to be a leader for another scheme and we'll be able to work with more students if we need it yes it's fine Maybe even ideal. We're okay with this, sir. Are you sure? Damn. Mr. Underwood sounds intimidating. <laughs> we both not. We can collect again after. Or during. The weekend. After everyone has a chance to look over that email. Uh-huh. Mr. Underwood gestures at the door. Please also note that while you are excused from first period this morning, all of you should continue attending class as normal going forward. Got it. At least let's add list. I'm so sorry. Alice leads us into the hall, turns to face us, and points at Kane. What do you think you're doing? What is it like? Working with you all? Pretty simple. Oh yeah, I like Kane's way of thinking. You know, uh... The writers wants to make Kane's looks uh, unlikable by uh, by making Lane hates him, but I really like Kane. He's such a homie. Hopefully, he doesn't have any dark past or like uh, secret. Fine. By the way, it's not going to win you points with me. Her attention swaps to Evan. Don't be rude to Evan. Everyone's rude to Evan. It wasn't Len. It was you, wasn't it? Huh? What did you do? I want to ask again. 
uh, killed. I just sent messages to people online to tell them what the group was about and warn them that your fashion wasn't accurate. Oh, <laughs> nice move. It's only served to muddy the waters and turn people to people off. Don't you understand? You made it harder to for everyone. Why? Even mumbles. Don't bully Evan, please. I stepped between them. He said he just wanted to be honest. Cut him some slack. Thank you, Evan. Thank you. It worked out anyway, didn't it? At least that just doesn't want Kane to be here, I guess. For you, I suppose. I have everyone's number. We reconfed as a full group on Monday. Holly, will you come with me? Oh, uh, okay. Later, fellas. <laughs> fellas. Alice marches downstairs, and Holly follows closely. Natasha heads the opposite way. Hey, are you going to class? Yes, shortly. All right, you can call me anytime if you need help uh, with the paperwork. Her gaze lingers on me, and she smiles. Thanks, honest son. She resumes her gait. Evan, Ken and Evan gives uh, each other a knowing glance. What are you guys planning? What? She's new. I address Evan. Sounds like there will be enough work to go around. After all, so thanks for pulling through. Evan nods. You can take some hours for me, probably. Holy too. Maybe. When you are in workaholic mode. <laughs> Mine are up are up for grabs too. Seriously though, what are you even doing here? Ken ignores me while walking away. I I even. So, where were you yesterday? I didn't want to get in your way. The music's gone. Shit's going to get down, I believe. What am I going to do with you, Evan? So, you stay home and what? Message people all day long? Maybe he's investigate about you and your family because you know uh last time when Ivan sneak up into you uh he actually took some pictures by judging by the sound it made somewhat. I talked to Ken though. Why? I told him about the library the library and what the hell? You can just go spreading rumors? Use some sense. We ask him to join, of all people. Actually, he asked me. He said he wanted to join, but he didn't want to go through you or Alice. So Ken has his own motive. Is that so? I closed the distance between us. Please don't bully Evan, please. Please, just give him some slack. Like you said, are you telling me the truth? Of course I am. What's wrong? Silence? Uh, nothing. Uh, do you need help later today? Cleaning? Nope. Did you tell anyone else about the library? No. 
Did you go? Yeah. Keep quiet about it. I'll feel I'll feel you later. Tomorrow when we get together. Oh yeah, the weekend. Uh, okay. Class is gonna start soon. Later. I'll walk away from Evan and go to class. Oh, damn. It's quite fun. There's some drama left and right. But uh, I don't know how long will this game goes. But I think I'm gonna end this here. I think I'm record for too long now. So thank you very much for watching this video. Damn, I really love this game. I said it over and over time, but uh, I think it's not enough. So hopefully you enjoy this video as well. If you like this video, please consider to subscribe and like this video. Help me uh, help support this channel so it can grow. And yeah, I think I'll see you guys later. I don't have much time actually. Hopefully, uh, Asa won't cough me recording this late. <laughs> so yeah, I, I need to go now and sleep so i see you guys later and have a lucky day